All right, this little short clip I have for you guys is a clip of what happens when things don't go as planned as far as getting a bolt out of a control arm. So stick with me, it'll be over in no time, and you guys will have an idea of how hard it is to deal with rust at certain points. But I don't need this in anymore. You guys are about to find out why I needed that in. All right, I hit this with the impact a couple of times already, and it's not even coming close to budging. It's just totally sitting still. There is a bunch of corrosion between this bolt and this aluminum knuckle. Now what you don't want to do is twist off the bolt in there. That'll really screw you up. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take an ha air hammer and hit around this area uh, with the flat of an air hammer to try and break some of that free a little bit. Okay, so I wrapped it a couple times with the air hammer. I don't want to damage this aluminum too much. I also hit it this way with the air hammer with no luck. So this one is really stuck in there. So I'm gonna try something quick. I'm gonna take the air hammer from this side. Obviously I'm gonna replace this bolt, that's already junk. But I'm gonna take the air hammer from this side and the impact gun from the other side. As I'm hitting it with the impact, I'm gonna hit it with the air hammer in hopes that something will break it free. So since that has officially left me deaf, there, got those on. I am not sure what I'm gonna do about that. I'm gonna hit it with a torch and hope like hell I can get it hot enough. Now you'll notice I'm hitting it with the torch from this direction because I don't care about the ball joint, but I don't wanna damage that CV boot. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in between the crack where the split is and then around the bolt as well, it's deep creep. Now I'm gonna take a major risk here and I'm gonna hit it with the big boy, the uh, big impact on the other side. If I break the bolt off, I'm gonna end up drilling this thing out, but I think that might be easier at this point because this thing is not releasing. All right, you can see I broke the bolt off now. So I'm gonna go ahead and center punch this and start drilling. Now the first center punch hit, I always hit really light because I wanna try and make sure I get it as close to center as possible. If I'm off a little, I can always readjust. Okay, I think I got it centered. Okay, I've drilled almost halfway. I've pretty much just about come in contact with that center seam there. I'm gonna go ahead and take this punch, throw it in here, and give this thing a couple nice hard whacks. Oh, Ooh, that did not feel good. Okay, we have absolutely no movement yet. That's unfortunate. All right, got my eyes and ears on. Sometimes life is a risk. So what the hell, let's go ahead and uh, take a little risk here and hope I don't get my finger too bad. Oh, huh, it didn't even move. Okay, now this thing ticked me off. I'm breaking out this goofy looking alignment slash punch thing that I have. And this bad boy. I think I felt it give. 
Not sure though. Yep, there, now I felt it for sure. Oh yeah, here it comes. Okay, now I'm going back to the smaller punch because it goes in deeper. Still the big hammer though. And that's how you get that out when things don't go as planned. That was not easy, but it's out. If you guys felt this video was worth your time and energy listening to and you feel it saved you enough money or any other video that I have perhaps, be sure to check out my website. If you have no other reason but to support me, you can go ahead and pick up a shirt just like this one here. And uh, the only difference is you won't say owner on it right by the boob there. But otherwise, uh, pick up a shirt. It helps support me. Keeps, me. keeps me rolling, keeps me moving, keeps me putting these videos forward. And with that, like, share, subscribe. And as always, I hope to see you on another video. Thanks for watching.